Okay, um, Lorian and Apple have gone through this dungeon. They've done a good chunk of it already, as I said at the beginning. Uh, Lorian started by opening the doors to this dungeon, so he's fairly familiar with it. Um, but they have looted many rooms from here and found a ridiculous amount of treasure. I think the two largest drops in the history of the game were in this dungeon. So, uh, you guys return to the dungeon to continue to pillage. So it's not brand new. Yeah, it's we're pretty just, We're just finishing off whatever they didn't get to before. Yeah. Okay. Is Apple a panther? No, Apple is a wolf. Okay. Apple is my wolf. All right. Oh, no. Hello, I, new I, friends. I Let's go. Ranger. supposed to pick this torch up when you do yeah someone who's got a free hand should probably hold the torch usually it's the rogue since he fights uh with a one-handed weapon and doesn't use a shield how do you pick it up okay uh -huh. you, you just wanna... click on it and move it with you okay you can highlight it with your token so that you move both of them at the same time all right i'll try that There you go. So this is the first room they entered with the gargoyle in it. That was a brutal fight. What, is, what does CR4 mean when you said they ran into a CR4 encounter? When that... you... For the purposes of figuring out XP and... Uh, and challenges in the game, CR is a challenge rating. So a first level character oh, okay. is generally CR1, and the gargoyle is CR4, so it's equivalent of like a fourth level fighter. Oh, okay. So all the rooms are numbered? Yeah, just for simplicity, so I can... Um, what is that they kill? That is a waste worm. It's just a big uh, carrion monster. So what, what level were the characters that went in this dungeon originally? They were first level when they came in here. First or second level. Yeah, it looks awfully large. It must be a huge. Like no, it's, it was there? a very challenging encounter. There are a lot of challenging encounters in here. That's why the loot is so plentiful. How many characters were there when they killed that thing? Uh, I think there were three or four. Did you lower first the CR level? for them? Lower the CR for what? For our level one friends. No. Oh, I don't, I don't care. I was just curious. Did he roll really bad, or is it just weaker than it looks for something that uses up four square? The dungeon is what the dungeon is. Oh, no, I'm not worried about it. I'm just curious. It looks humongous. Well, the thing that was super scary was the troll. I thought the troll was going to eat all three of them. Okay. Somebody's torch has been lost or something. Yeah. Did you guys go through the doors? I can't get through there. You have to go through the center where the opening in the door is. You kind of have to like drag your thing through the middle of it. You might not be able to do it while holding the torch. So how do we get the torch through the door then? You put the torch through first and then put your token through, or vice versa. Do I move it up? So I'm to grab it? Okay. Yeah, I've got it. Are you going somewhere specific, Lorian? Nope, I'm just walking. <laughs> okay, I was just wondering, because you're going through all the rooms you've already cleared. 
Oh yeah, I thought we were, I didn't know that we missed anything. Well, there was the one chittering room in the northeast corner that you guys decided you didn't want to open. I think there were a couple more rooms over there, and then there were a bunch of rooms in the south you didn't open. I don't even remember, like, where they are. I don't... You guys want to go back and, like, explore those chittering rooms? Well, you know, if you know where there's a room you haven't been, you might as well go there. I think I got the torch stuck. Give me one quick second to get that figured out. Sometimes, because of the half walls, things will get stuck in the wall. Just let me know if you're having problems with it. Alright, I'm good now. A door. So, Lorraine, were a lot of these, any of these doors ever trapped? Sorry, what was that? I was asking Lorraine if any of these doors were ever trapped. This is a door here, right? Yep. Lorraine? Can you hear me, Lorraine? We lose Lorraine. Oh yeah, he's got something weird going on. His thing isn't it's solid green, it's not going out. Yeah, you're coming up green, but you're not making any sound. Well can you answer that question? I don't Have think there were any traps. Them? I don't think there are any traps that they found so far. Okay. Ultimate word being so far. Do you want to do your thief thing and check the door for traps? Gladly. So roll a d20 for that. Right? Yep. Roll a d20 and then add your uh, perception check to it. Nice. You're very confident there is no uh, trap on this door. All right, we're good, guys. All right, I would like to open the door and immediately step back. <laughs> I have three times as many hit points as anyone else, but I stay in the back. Well, what we should do is, when we're going to open doors, once we're sure it's not trapped, We'll open it while you have your precious bow and arrow ready to fire through it. Can I do that? Can I prepare like a bow and arrow to fire before we even get into initiative? Yep. Okay, it looks like you killed people in here too. They must have done this last session without me. Yeah, we've played a couple of times without you. Oh yeah, you weren't there for the chittering. They were all freaked out because they kept encountering bugs in the hallway and they almost got uh, stomped in one room. I don't even remember any chittering thing. I'm just walking random. No, Jonas was... Epic snail battle. Yeah. Jonas was uh, checking every door for sounds and whatnot, and he kept coming to doors with chittering behind it. And he was like, okay, after that last chittering, I don't want to do any more chittering. Let's go the other way. <laughs> so they fought that giant scorpion, and then they were like, okay, that wasn't too bad. And then they fought the Bombardier Beetle and just got their shit pushed in. And we're like, uh, yeah, we don't want to do that. 
they nearly got beat by this one thing. I think there were two or three of them in the hallway originally. I just removed the dead ones during the fight because it was a narrow hallway. It was hard to deal with. There was a door here that have they gone through that. Come back up one. This you want to go through this door? Gone through this door, have they? Because there's nope. no. Okay, so we'll we'll do check the door for traps. Then we'll uh, we'll do that thing where you have your arrow knot. You can show us how good an archer you are. This could be amusing. Do your thing. Or All right, checking for traps. By accident. Wow. Nice. Watch. You Watch. do not. As soon as you, as soon as you go into combat, you're going to roll one. You oh, do not me. find any traps. Okay. I, I open the door for Lorian to fire through it if there's anything on the other can I Can I ready an arrow? Yep. Do, do we see anything? I do not see anything. Well, then you do not see anything. Okay. That's the wonderful thing about dynamic lighting. Well, you can roll a perception check. All of us? Anyone who oh, wants to. Can I, is that the same as doing here in Ori? Yep. Perception is spot, listen, and search. Okay. Just a d20, right? Oh, I guess everything's a d20. Basically. Yeah, everything's a d20. Damage stuff. And what am I adding to that? Your perception bonus. I think it's six. All right, perception. Yep. So twenty total. Okay, uh, Muggs, you can hear a weird clicking sound in the room. There seems to be a lot of it, and it's coming towards you. Or you cut out there. I said you hear a weird clicking sound. There seems to be a lot of it, and it's coming towards you. Okay. Um. What are you guys doing? I'm going to prepare an arrow too with my short bow if I can. Yep. So I you guys are just that. standing back with your bows out and leaving the guy with the least number of hit points to guard the door? Well, I, I have Wait, hang on a second. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm ready to slam the door if it looks like there's more than I Wait for them to come in the light. Okay. Well, then you guys can roll initiative. Is it D10? D20 uh, plus D20 your more. initiative modifier at the top. Okay. So if I'm not holding a weapon, does that mean I just get plus four? Whatever you're taking as your standard action is what your initiative is based on. So if your goal for this round is to not attack and not cast a spell, then there's no modifier. So you would take off the modifier for your weapon. So I think your weapon's like minus eight. So you would just yeah. remove that from the math. Okay, so do I still get my minus two for armor? And minus yeah, all your other things are the same. What was HS again? Your heavy shield. Oh, heavy shield, right. Okay, so it's right. So minus two, minus two, plus four, zero. Okay. All right. There's really nothing. Okay, I put the initiative macro in the Discord. I totally forgot about that. Oh, right. I see. But does it let me modify? Okay, it doesn't matter. So I guess. It, Mugs, you just pushed the button at the top of the screen, right? Yeah. If you cut and yeah, if you cut and paste the macro I put into Discord into the chat, it'll allow oh. you to put in your modifier. Make sure you click on your token, then put in the macro. I'm just 
just highlighting the bottom part. Oh. You want me to copy it into where again, sorry? Yeah, just copy and paste it from Discord into Roll20. Where you've written the word initiative or where? In Roll20? No, in the oh, chat Roll20. box at the bottom. Oh. Okay, so how what so that macro, so I'm modifying it. I'm taking away the minus eight. Yeah, when when you hit enter, it'll give you a modifier of input window, and you just put minus eight in there, and then hit enter. So if I was this, so if I was using a sling where it's only, I would still do minus six. Would that work, or is that macro if I just if I'm using the mace? It's for whatever you use because when you click on the macro, it asks you to put in the number. The only thing the macro does is roll the d20 and put it in the okay. tracker. All right. So, okay. So, because I have no adjustment, can I just keep what I rolled because there's no adjustment on the button up there. It's just a straight 16, right? Because I have no adjustment. No, because you have right. minus two for your armor and minus two for your shield. But I have improved initiative so far. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. If your total is zero, then that's, yeah, that's yeah. correct. No, that's what I was saying. It's it's zero, so. Okay, I'll, yeah. I'll then that in that case, case, your initiative for this round for, you can just push that button. Yeah. Okay. It's on the turn order already. Yeah. So we're just waiting for Lorian to ever push, put in his initiative. I'm sorry, I was doing something in real life real quick. I'm just now double checking my initiative. Okay, I'm now joining the game. Okay, uh, Muggs, you get to go first. Am I allowed to hold my action until I see what's coming? Yep, you can definitely do that. All right, I'm holding my action because all I'm going to do is slam the door. I think there's more than we can handle. Okay, Lorian, what are you doing? I'm going to command Apple to move forward. Okay. Like into the room and guard. Guard what? Me, I will be moving behind him. Okay, roll your animal handling. Wow, way to use up those big numbers. Can I stop them from going? <laughs> and I'm going to make a um, rap. I can't make a rapid shot, right? Because I use my movement action. Okay, I'm just going to shoot a normal arrow at this bombarder right here. Okay. Oh, shoot one arrow. I forgot he's an owl, isn't he? No, it's just the torch shines into the room, and now that he's in the room, he can see. You're standing behind that chunk of the wall, and you don't have line of sight. Uh, That's, I imagine that's 10 points of damage on the Bombarder. Yep. Bombardier. Can the guy with the torch see it? Sorry, what was that? Can the, can the thief see it? Am I the only one who can't see? What? I think you're the only one who can't see just because of your line of sight. If you move down into the doorway, you'll be able to see. So Lorraine's gone. Fox, move back where you were. Wait until your turn to go. Are you going at this point, Muggs? Um, no, well, if he goes in the room, then I'm going to go into the room to see what. I'm not going to attack anything because that's what I was rolling. Nope, that's fair. So you're going to move in? Yeah, I was just going to go here just to see what the heck he's firing at. 
Am okay. I blocking him if I'm standing there? Can the thief still go? The thief can move past you, assuming that there's a square to occupy. Well, would, would Fox's action come before mine? Because I said I was holding my action. Or well, that's why I asked you, are you moving at this point? When you oh, delay your action, well, you can what... pick when you want to go. Oh, okay, then no. Then yeah, as soon as I see you can go in the room, I'm, I'm going here. That's totally fair. Okay. okay. Um, Apple's guarding you, so then it's the beetle's turn. So the first beetle will move up. And he attacks Apple. Does Apple get, like, attacks of opportunity? Not unless the beetle provokes an attack of opportunity. The first beetle misses him. The second beetle... Ooh, that looks like a hit. No, Apple's 21. Wow, it he's does a tank. not. Apple has 21. Ace. Apple's a beast. So the next uh, beetle moves up. He oh, misses oh. horribly. And then the last beetle moves up and attacks uh, Apple. Oh, there's a hit. Apple takes uh, three points of bite damage. He has three points of damage reduction, so that's no damage. You always take a minimum of one on a, an attack. All right. Should... Are we supposed to be able to see their hit points? You should be able to. Hang on a sec. Oh no, that's what I was asking. Oh, so I didn't. I you know, have that with the DM lets us see how many hit points the enemy has. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. For the purposes of simplicity and moving the game along, I just put all the details on the monster so that we don't have to go. What's its armor class? Is that a hit? How much damage does it do? How much damage reduction does it have? If, um, if you want to save the suspense, just don't look. So is there just, there's just four of them? Or is there a fifth one here? There is exactly as many as you can see. Okay. So how many? Four, four, there were four attacks. So, uh, yes, yeah. the wolf was attacked four times. Good. Okay, uh, Fox, you're up. Somehow the rogue managed right, so, to go last. So can I move in and then attack, or can I just move? You can move up to uh, six squares as a move action. You can take a five-foot step as a swift action, and then you can attack. So in this case, um, you have to go through an occupied square, so that counts as double movement. So you move... One square to there is five feet, and then to here would be ten feet, because it's an occupied square. So that would be 15 of your 30 feet, and then you can take another step to there, use 20 feet of your movement, still leaves you with your swift attack, your swift action, and your standard action. With your standard action, you can attack. All right, I'll go ahead and attack then with short bow since I had the arrow knocked. You can't attack with a short bow from a threatened square. Okay, I'll use my uh, rapier then. You have the point blank feet. Can you do that? You can't fire a ranged weapon into an adjacent square. You just don't have enough room to physically do it. Um, if he was five feet back, like if he was in your position, he could shoot past into the square in front if you guys switched. Um... For the sake of uh, action economy, Fox, if you have to draw your weapon, you're going to have to drop your bow before you move in. And your uh, standard action will be drawing your your rapier. Instead of attacking. Alright, got it. Okay, 
then it's initiative. How do you treat firing in the melee? Like if I decide to fire my sling, I'm surrounded by friendly people. What's the chances that I get hit? When you fire into combat, any situation where there's people you want to hit and people you don't want to hit, you suffer a minus four penalty to hit. So firing your sling in this position would be a horrible disadvantage, but probably still your best option unless you were healing someone. So there's no chance that I can actually hit one of them. I just get a penalty to hit. No, there's no, there's there's no mechanic in the game for hitting other players accidentally. Okay, so when I roll initiative, if I'm firing my sling, because it's a six instead of an eight, I'm going to put minus two, right? Because the macro is set up as if it's the heavy man. No, no, no. The macro is just, just a d20. So whatever your initiative penalty is, that's what you're going to put in there. Oh, so, okay. Cut and paste okay. the macro into the chat. Hit enter. Make sure you click on your token first. Um, and then when the box pops up, put minus six or minus eight in it and hit enter or hit submit i think it is so i can't if i craft common monster there's no point because there's nowhere to put it right you could summon a monster on the opposite side which would be very handy for fox because that would give him flanking on the beetle in front of him it i wasn't sure if it had a range i hadn't looked at it all right that's what i'm gonna do it has a range but i think it's like short range which is 25 feet and you're only 15 feet away from the square you'd want to put it in i don't have the spell open either so i'd have to look it up no i do i have it open i don't know how to roll which thing shows up but hey i can i can bring a beetle (laughs) okay that's what i'm doing so when i roll that do i is it still is it zero because it's a spell or is there a thing in here in the spell is supposed to tell me what to enter for initiative. When you cast a spell, you use the level of the spell instead of your weapon modifier. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So you take out whatever your penalty is for your mace and put in minus one. Okay. So we re-roll initiative then after everyone goes? Yep. So for you, um, you can pick any of the basically good monsters. So you can pick a, a celestial dog, owl, beetle, porp. Well, I can't pick a porpoise in the dungeon, but if you're underwater, you could. Uh, badger or monkey. Oh, I get to pick what it is? I think so. Sorry, did you say I get to pick which creature shows up or you are? I think you do get to pick it. Worst okay. case scenario, you can you get the neutral good one, which is the giant fire beetle. Why? What happens is that what happens? Like, isn't it on my? So it's not on my side. Yes, it's on your side. It follows your orders. Oh, okay. Well, I guess if I yeah, if it breathes fire, then it it shoots me. Oh yeah, yeah. if it breathes fire in your direction, and you happen to be standing there, it would be no different than if it was a mage yeah. casting fireball into the room. Whether he's on your side or not, it still hits you. Is it? Okay, so it's it's breath weapon. Is it a cone? So I could have it fire straight like a lightning bolt or? A fire beetle. I don't think it has. I think fire beetle just, it, it just has glowing glands. It just looks fearsome. It doesn't actually have a fire attack. Okay, cool. Well, it's only going to last one round. So like... Don't they, like, explode or something? It's only going to last one round, so... Hey, I don't know. Okay. Let's pick, uh... Okay, I want the poisonous frog. Poisonous frog? Well, it's only going to last one round. It gets one attack. Maybe it'll poison one you guys. Actually, I changed the summoning spells to last a minute a level instead of around a level for just that reason, because it's basically pointless if it only lasts a round. Okay, so that means you last six rounds then? Ten rounds. There are ten rounds in a minute. Each round oh, six seconds. seconds. Okay, I thought it was every ten seconds. All right, then um, I will take... Yeah, no, then... This one. Between the beetle and the rat. Okay. Let's 
percent. Okay, that works to be on my percent. So now I'll go with the rat that has a higher armor class. Okay, just modify the stat block on the rat so that it matches your stat block for your summon monster. Okay, sorry. What, what, what? Same Summon. deal. Red one's armor class, green one's uh, hit points. Oh, you mean you've already made it appear. Can I pick where it is? Yeah, you can put it wherever you want. Just click on it move it where you want it. I just assumed you'd want it in the square that would make it flank for Fox. That doesn't flank, flank for Fox. It, it flanks for Apple. Apple. It does flank for Apple. Okay. But Fox That's gets an extra D6 exactly. if he flanks. Okay, so flanking has to be directly to the side. So like if, if you're here... That would, that would be flanking the one in the middle. The diagonal yeah. one? Yeah, Flank, yeah. That, flanking is opposite. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm gonna go with that. It gets super special when you uh, when you start dealing with big things because you can flank by being on opposite sides, but you're both on the, like the north side. You just one's on the east and one's on the west. Okay, so am I rolling its hit points or you're rolling? It? Uh you can roll its hit points. Okay, so hit point five, one day. All right, so it says. Hit points five in bracket seven, one d eight plus one or one d eight plus three. So does that mean I'm adding them together? Or? The five is just the average. Okay. And the the number in the brackets that. is just what you would get on average. You can take that if you want, or you can use the number that's given, or you can roll it. Okay, because one it says one d eight plus one, and one it says one d eight plus. Three. So what I'm are you looking roll. at? I'm looking at the one from that sheet you were talking about, the hypertech. When yeah. I click on the spell, and then I click on my choices, when I go to Diorat, it says AC 14, um, HP 5 in brackets 7, and then in brackets 1D8 plus 1, and in square brackets 1D8 plus 3. I think it's, well, yeah, okay, it's one celestial, one's fiendish, I guess. So this is just regular Yeah, celestial. yeah, there's two different uh, okay. ones. You would actually... Is yours a fiendish or just a regular dire rat? Well, it's the first level, so I assume it's just regular, right? Um, I, I have, think... I don't think I have a choice. It just says dire rat in the spell. Oh, it just says dire rat? Okay, that's fine. Because there's also a celestial version of it. Well, that's what I mean. The celestial is the weaker one, so it's probably the weaker one, I would think. Probably be like summon monster higher level to get that. All right, it's only a difference of two hit points. All right, here we go here. Uh, roll 1d8. Roll oh, 1d8. Four. No, you're right. It is the dire rat. Oh, cool. So he gets eight hit points. Um, so that's eight. And I guess, does he have any damage redu reduction? Not at his level, no. Do I change the number? That's a vicious typing. Why? Oh, you can hear that really loud? Yeah, it you sounds like you're it. pounding on your desk. I, you know, you're the second person. Like, I've, I've dropped it to 75. I'm not, I swear I'm not doing it hard. Do you have your oh, mic my. really close to your keyboard? Well, it's the laptop. That's right. why, is because your mic uh, your mic is closer to your keyboard than it is to your face. Okay. See, I have a snowball mic, and it's just sitting on my desk. It's like six inches from my mouth. My keyboard's on the other side of it, so it doesn't even pick up the keyboard. It's fine. Okay, so it's not I, the end of the world I, or anything. I, I was just curious. To, to, to show that I've done the spell, how do you want me to change it? Just erase it from... Sheet, yeah, just put an X on it. Just, just an X on. saying, yeah, I've used the spell. Okay, so the DC under spells, I don't have to roll that every time, or that's just if I'm being attacked? 
The DC for the spell is how difficult your uh, spell is. So that's the difficulty class of your spell. So if I cast a fireball on you and I say roll a DC 15 reflex save, you roll a reflex save and you have to roll a 15 or higher or you take a lot of damage. So in this case, there's no DC for summoning a monster. But if these were, uh, this was a mage you were attacking, you're trying to flank a mage and he has protection from evil on. Protection from okay. evil blocks summoned creatures. So then there would be a saving throw involved in there for the rat to be able to attack him. Okay. Okay, the rat also gets to attack immediately. Okay, so am I rolling his attack, or you are? No, you roll it. It's your monster. Okay. So, okay. Dire rat, it says, to attack... Okay, 3, 4, you immediately bite plus 1, plus the D. Special attack, smite evil good. Okay. All right, so D20. So it doesn't have a fact, though. You did, so, all right, it doesn't matter. So I'm just rolling 20 plus 1, and you know what they're... What they're no, it's 20. It's bite attack is... Roll, it's bite attack is plus 4, so it's saying, D20 plus 4. Oh, in the thing it just says bite plus 1. Under what? Under, under dire rat? It says melee. Yeah, under offense it says... Melee bite plus one. I'm on the d20 pfrsd.com bestiary. Oh, you're. Am I in the wrong one? Like this is what I got when when I started on the hypertext and I went to spells. That's where I looked up that spell. Like I just went to hypertext and I clicked spells, and then it went to summon monster, and that's what came up. I just put my uh, link to it in the Discord. Look at it and make sure it's the same. But mine says Bite plus four under Dire Rat. Okay. Maybe it's different. To, maybe it's different. I think you might spell. be on the Pathfinder one instead of the 3.5. Well, there is no... this. Well, this website doesn't have Pathfinder. It's just three and a half and five and two, I think. Um... Well, click on that link I just put in the Discord yeah. and check that okay. one out. That's the correct monster. All right. That might be explain why okay, I don't understand is... what you're saying if you're looking at a different okay, page. This is, yeah, this is different. All right. Well, we'll go with this one. I will. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I just I just clicked on Diorat as option. Yeah. If you're right. if you're not on if you're not on a official site, sometimes you get. Uh, Homebrewed stuff? Yeah, no. Yeah, it said hypertext D20, the same thing, and then for some reason it switched. Yeah, for some reason it switched to... Oh, who cares? All right, we got it. All right, so it's... All right, so D20 plus four. All right, there you go. The longest summon so monster type, ever. You want me to type that in, or just yeah, you just type it in, or you can you can do it however you want. You can type slash r space d twenty plus four, or you can oh, click no, on I the. Just like rolling. Okay. You can use the uh, dice uh, thingy too. Maybe then I can't add the plus four, right? Yeah, you can. If you go to the advanced one, you can. Oh, there's go on the dice roll. roller. You put in advanced roll one d twenty plus whatever you want it to be. Then you just click roll. Oh, I've never even seen that. All right, D20. Gotcha. Done. Go, baby, go. And if you keep that dice roller open, it shows your last 10 rolls, so you can just click on oh, them again. Cool. Okay. So I, I assume I hit. Or... Uh, 16, I think that's a hit. Okay. Oh, no, beetles are 17. That's why these things are so nasty, is they're little armored buggers. Okay. But you are plus two for flanking, so that would be a hit because that would be an eighteen. Okay, and so it does. Where is it? Does D four plus disease? D four, right? Yeah. Okay.
Cool. Okay, so if you click on the beetle's uh, hit points, you can just put in minus two there, and it'll subtract two from his hit point total. So we do that too? Okay. Yep, that way everybody knows what they're doing. Makes it really easy if I need to run and grab a drink or go to the bathroom for you guys to just resolve your end of the combat. You don't need me to check everything every round. Um, so you're done. So then we are on to the beetles. Where does it show what the disease was? Uh, the disease, I believe, is filth fever. It says at the bottom, disease, filth fever, bite. Oh. DC 11, incubation D3 days. So whether or not he's uh, diseased at this point won't really be relevant unless you guys run away because if you kill him, he's not diseased anymore. He's okay. dead. All right. Is this, is this a wall up here? Yep. Okay, that's why we can't. All right. It just looks you should be able to see the, uh, the bricks of the wall. I can see it on the bottom. I just can't see like right here up on the... Right beside the one on the right, I can't see the bricks there. That's oh, that's, that's because right. of the line of sight. Okay. The okay. corner of the wall blocks it. The The graphics of the bricks stick out into the a little bit into the square so you can see them, but the uh, dynamic lighting runs along the grid lines. Okay. It's just way easier to do dynamic lighting if you stay on the grid lines. Gotcha. Okay, so the beetle number one at the bottom will attack Fox. He is going to spew acid at him. So, oh shit, he will be spewing acid at all three of you. So you guys can roll your fortitude save. DC 20 or DC. Three of us? Yeah. Who exactly are the three? Uh, three characters. Not including Apple? No, because it's a cone. I see. Okay. So the cone attacks one square, two squares, three squares. There's nobody behind you, so it doesn't go any further. So you roll a d20 plus your fortitude uh, modifier. So I'm assuming that would be more than enough for mugs. Lorian makes a save. So Fox, you got your save? Uh, yeah. It's plus eight. Holy crap. Uh-oh. Ouch. No, Lorian rolled an 80s plus 7. Oh, no, I know. That's what I mean. Like, he's got plus 7. I only got plus 3. So. Well, my character's level 4. So okay. Fortitude every level. He gets fortitude as his good save. So he got started out with 2 at first level. And then he got 3 at third level. And at or at second level, and then four at uh, fourth level. I'm assuming he has a good con. Okay. How'd you get up to seven? Sounds like the math is wrong there, Lorraine. Um, I was just increasing the B by one point every time I leveled. Yeah, that would mean that you should be at... F oh, you're doing it every level. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> you need to actually look at the... Uh, the SRD and follow the ranger chart. But we'll worry about that later. You still make the save. It's not that big of a deal. So, um, so everybody... Whole... Sorry? Uh, Fox, you take seven points of damage from the uh, acid spray. And Muggs and Lorien, you guys uh, shake it off. And then we move on to the next Bombardier Beetle. Who okay. also sprays, except this time he's going to target a Apple, Lorian, and Muggs. So roll your saves again. So um, I'm just curious. I can't see Fox's hit point. Is that because he hasn't entered it? 
No, it's there. I think it's just in the wall. It's hard to see. Oh no, I see. I can see. Oh, that. Oh, that's Apple's bar. Apple's bar. I can't see. Yeah, his is. Maybe it's because he has the torch. All right, so you only roll d twenty again. You can't see apples because that's uh, what's his face his character. All right, I failed. I assume eight. There you go. I fixed it. Okay, so Apple fails his save miserably, and Mugs fails his save. But Lorian, you made yours. Looks like it. Yeah. Okay. So Apple and Mugs, you each take six points of damage. So there's no damage reduction on this. Nope, it's just a spray of acid. The uh, reduction is making the save. Also, oh, Apple wouldn't use his three damage reduction on this attack. Nope. All right. And then the two beetles to the north will both attack Apple. Missing him horribly, and then we are on to Fox. All right. Can I attack the uh, Bombardier that's at 8 health, or does it have to be the one that's right next to me? Nope, you can attack anyone that's uh, adjacent to your square. Okay, I'll use my uh, rapier to attack the one that's... Uh, up to the left of me, that's a 8 out of 20 HP. So does he get plus 2 as he flanks? Oh no, he's not facing me. Yeah, if you attack the one on the, rat, the one in the middle that's opposite the rat, then you get plus 2 and you get sneak attack on it. Oh, so he's turned and he's faced the dire rat now? So that... I would assume so, yeah. Okay. I'll just get to kill one of them before we die and Lorian runs away. They've never even played with you, and they know how much of a coward you are. <laughs> he told us. Well, I forgot these things could spit. Okay, Fox, okay, so roll your we'll... attack. Uh, do I do d twenty for that, or or yeah, the d six? You do uh, you do slash roll d twenty. Plus uh, five, then hit enter. That's terrible. Broke. <laughs> okay, did you want to do anything else? Run. Yeah, there's... <laughs> can I try to like get away from them or out of their range at all? You're currently in a threatened square, threatened by two beetles. So if you leave that square, you'll provoke an attack of opportunity. Normally, you would five foot out, but you can only five foot into an unoccupied square, and there aren't any. So your last option is to roll an acrobatics check to try to tumble through uh, threatened squares to get out. It is a DC 15 acrobatics check to uh, tumble out. If you fail that, you still provoke the attacks of opportunity. So it's a gamble on your part. I think you need to roll an 8 or higher to make the check. So the thieves in this level, they get D8, they don't get D6. Yeah, it was one of the upgrades uh, I stole from Pathfinder. Oh, okay. This thief is first level like mine, right? Yep, you're both first level. All right. Yeah, I'm surprised he's X. I thought he would have just run away because I assume he's almost dead like I am. Yes, oh, you're both shot, very so squishy. D20 plus 7, right? Yep. You need to stop rolling 6s. Or 3s. I'll just push F for myself right now. <laughs> so you can tumble out into the hallway. Um, you've got the torch, so that could be unfortunate for your companions. 
Uh, but those two beetles will get an attack of opportunity on you as you flee. That's not good news for you. You take three points from uh, the first attack of opportunity, which uh, your damage reduction will reduce by one. And then the second attack misses you. So you manage to escape with uh, a whopping one hit point into the hallway. Oh. So it's not only Lorian who runs away. Okay, Lorian, you're up. Okay, I'm going to command Apple to attack the bombarder that's directly in front of her. Okay. That Not is so much with the good. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, you're go. I'm gonna use an immediate. Actually, no. Never mind. I'm just gonna rapid shot this bombarder right. Here. And that's my turn. Okay, so now we have another one that's badly wounded. And then we're back to initiative. So, the one that's just above him to the left, that doesn't stop him from firing? No, because he has cover right around here. the wall. You can't fire around a corner. Or attack around okay. a corner. Oh, good roll, God. We aren't going to get to run away. We all, well, Lorian will eventually. You get a 25. That minus the, that two initiative again, though. Why did, why did Beatles get plus five to initiative? Wait a minute. How is it 30 now? Well, I was just about to explain that. When you roll okay. a critical, you get a plus five bonus to the roll. And when you roll a uh, one critical fail, you're minus five to your roll. Okay. And the beetle has one point for dex and four for uh, improved initiative. His one feet. Yeah. So since I had my rapier out, um, if I want to switch to bow, I just put down the negative four. Do I have to roll with the negative one for the rapier and use an action for? Whatever you're going to use your standard <laughs> action for. Nice! Yeah, but it's not good enough because they got 30. That's that's true. Um, Alright, so I roll for my rat too, or does he get the 20? Uh, he can go on the same initiative as you. So um, it's actually 25? Yes, it's actually 25. Okay. And you said Make you sure you click on your token it. when you roll your initiative, and then it'll put it in the chart for you. Oh, sorry. So can you just change Yeah, if you it? just click oh, on... Like I can change it. Yeah, you can just click on the 18 and change it to 25. Or 20, whatever makes you happy. It doesn't matter. It's not like I can catch up to the stupid dire rat. Actually, you know what? That's what My dire rat has a bonus, but I don't think it's five. Uh, yeah, the dire rat has a pretty high... I think it's three. I don't think it's five. Crap, I lost it. Where the heck did that the rat go? The rat actually is plus seven. So the dire rat would go oh. first. Ooh, gum drops. Alright, um Okay, so the rat will attack. Dire Rat goes after 
this one. The one with four. If he moves north well, first, he can flank him. Oh, oh right. Okay. Sure. You're a rat. You're giving him orders. Give him good orders. No, I... I... This is the first game where people have, have used flanking, so... Really? Flanking right. is a basic mechanic in 3.5. Oh, no, but I haven't gotten to play a 3.5 game up until this moment. Oh, okay. Alright. Um, Alright, oh, advanced dice roller. Alright, I'm going to hand it up. 20 plus 4. Cool. Now, can I get lucky and roll a four so he die? I'm guessing no. Here, here goes nothing. You're right, it won't happen. Oh, my reverse psychology didn't work. Usually it always works. 60% of the time, it works every time. Okay, so... Go ahead, and... Rats. Kill us. Kill everybody, but... but... Morgan. Are you doing anything, Mugs? Well, oh yeah, because you go after the beetles. Well, that I can solve that problem for you. Beetle moves up to attack you. Um, right before he does that, I'm going to use my immediate action to cast Arrow Mind Spell, which I can do even if it's not my turn. Okay, what's that do? Um, the Arrow Mind Spell gives me... Um, threatening squares of five feet with my bow so it would allow me to provoke an opportunity attacks when it moves within my threatening squares okay but it does the spell give you that or did, are you assuming that the spell gives me that okay you want to send me a link to the spell because that doesn't sound kosher sure what's up guys Hey, Ryan, you're still alive. Yeah, uh, COVID has been... Dude, turn your mic down or take it out of your throat. That's way better. It's a new mic. I got a streaming... Yeah, we had a bunch of people from my company get hit with COVID over the last few weeks. How's the new game going? Uh, pretty well so far. We have uh, the Rogue at 1 of 10 hit points, the Cleric at 3 of 9 hit points, and none of the monsters have been killed yet. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Do you mind if I uh, pop in game? If you do what? If I pop into the game and watch. Yeah, sure. Um, you definitely have to do something about static. It sounds like you are electrocuting your mic or licking it, one or the other. Are you still going over the spell? Uh, I read it. All it allows you to do is, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, make attacks of opportunity with your bow. It doesn't cause you to automatically provoke. It says I threaten all squares within my normal melee. Yes, but you only provoke an attack of opportunity when you leave a threatened square, not when you enter it. I see. Okay. So if you were size large and you threatened 10 feet, when it moved into the first square, it doesn't provoke an opportunity, an attack of opportunity, but when it leaves that square to move closer to you, then it provokes. Okay, so not, that's fine. Not that I hate Apple, but why would it move up? 
<laughs> to get you. Why are you getting me when I was sitting right there? Because it's funnier this way. Okay. How does this sound? Fine. Just trying to find one of your tokens. And I apologize if I interrupt. No, that's fine, Ryan. Ryan, have you played in the noob game with dynamic lighting? Because I have a token here that says Ryan, but I don't think it's a... You've never played a fighter before in the noob game, have you? No, I've done Rogue. Yeah, Ryan S., that's not you. Sounds like a numpty to me. Well, anyone named Ryan's a numpty. Oh, They had all the time, had, man. Some people kids are the right. noob game in a while to keep him salty. Sorry, what was that? I said I can see why he hasn't played the noob game in a while. You keep insulting him. He's been here for a minute. You insulted his name. You underestimate the power of my insults. You mean overestimate? Totally underestimate. Uh, that's probably okay. the nicest thing I've ever said to Ryan in the time I've known him. Okay. Dixon Stone. So are you going to finish me off or what's, what's going on? Sorry, I'm just grabbing Ryan a token. Oh, I'm not joining into the game. I'm just gonna sit and watch. I want to see what you guys are doing. It's oh, too late Didn't to join. Yeah, having your hero show up now would be way too beneficial. Yeah, you guys have to TPK. Like Lorian isn't gonna die. Eventually, he'll figure out. He might as well just leave. He might lose Apple if he doesn't. If he doesn't. Hey, there you are. He snuck in behind There you us. go, Ryan. You should be able to awesome. see now. Yeah. Save us. Have all the rats turn on him. Prove that prove that you're not nice to him. He is a non combat observer. Okay. So we were at kill the cleric. Yes, we were that. Ignore, ignore the giant wolf and go after the cleric. There you go. See, and that's even a hit. And of course, it hit. I, I have a horrible arm. But I don't know if I'd say it's me. horrible. I'd say it's definitely easy to hit. He can't kill me in one shot because I have minus three. The most he can do is two. The most he can do is one, actually. Well, no. If he actually rolled. A four, five, minus three would be two, right? Because that's the most he can do. Yeah, but he only rolled a two. He rolled a one. Oh, so. no, I understand. <laughs> You're going to have to spit one more time. Yeah, he'll spit when he feels afraid. Currently, he's not afraid of you. Time. He's unwounded. Well, isn't he the one who spit last round? He yeah. spit first. I guess he has to recharge his spit. That's true. Because otherwise, they'd be spinning all the time. It's a way more damage than stupid piddly attack with damage reduction. For sure. Uh, then the other one will attack uh, Apple. Oh, so close. Another one on Apple. Poor Apple's just getting gangbanged. Ooh, Apple's even flanked now, so that 19's a hit. Oh, the one on top was attacking? 
<laughs> well, the one on top is attacking, but he's also uh, in a flank with the one on the bottom. So everyone gets well, the plus two. Right. The only ones, they can only attack Apple. They can't attack anybody else. Right? No, that's the true. Walls. My point is that Apple is now flanked because that other one moved up. That's what we call a uh, non -in non intentional flank. Okay. Apple is surrounded by happenstance. Uh, then we're on to Apple's turn. Um, Apple's just gonna keep attacking Wait, the one that's directly in front of him. We don't like you. No, I just missed you because you already went with your uh, rat. So yeah, it's your turn. Okay, so okay, well, here's my problem. I was gonna leave, which I obviously can't now. So is my action wasted? Because when I rolled, you can stick, five foot step out of the door and then. Well, what what are my options? Because originally I was gonna leave, but now it could provoke an attack of opportunity. So no, because you can step through it? the door. Oh, there is no attack of opportunity? If you take a five-foot step, you do not provoke an attack of opportunity. So you can five-foot back, and then you're not in a threatened How square How far anymore. can I go? Just back one square. So right on top of... The torch. Yep. Okay. And that's my whole movement for the round? No, that's just your swift action. You still have your move action and your standard action. Okay, so that's what I mean. So if I rolled, if I rolled my initiative, assuming I was just going to leave, all I can do is movement, right? Uh, yeah, I guess if that was your intention, were you planning on going more than five feet with your well, entire yeah, rounds I was, action? I was going to try to get out of their line of sight, but when he stood beside me, I thought you were going to say he's going to get an attack of opportunity, so I was going to ask. Um, if I could change my mind and cast a spell, but I didn't roll initiative like I was going to cast a spell. Yeah, you can cast a spell if you want. That's fine. Be okay. sure not to take the torch with you, by the way, if you move it. Okay. Um, I'm casting Cure Light Wounds on myself. That's very brave of you. <laughs> Just for I the record, you can cast Faith uh, Healing on yourself. What does that one do? That's the one that does maximum. You don't roll the die, you just get the 10 hit points. Oh. Oh, you get more hit points than, than Cure Light Wounds? Well, normal Cure Light Wounds is 2d4 plus your caster level. So for Faith, uh, totally faith Healing, you would just get the 8 and then 2 for your level. One for being first level and one for oh, Conjuration. No, it says 1d8 plus 1. And what you wrote on the sheet. Yeah, I know. Oh, so it's it's two. D4 I recent plus. I recently changed it to two d four because rolling one d eight frequently gives you a one, and that's kind of shitty. Okay. Whereas two d four, at least you have a better average. You know what? Since okay, so can I change my mind? Since you were going to, oh my god, don't move, stupid thing. Since you're going to let me cast a spell, can I just stay there and I'll just cast my spell? Yeah, that's fine. I, I feel bad for Apple. They want me back in here. Apple right. will be fine. All right, so... Uh, oh, wait, no, no, oh you want to stay in the room and cast no, a spell? I'm gonna, I forgot I forgot they had a breath weapon all of a sudden. Forget it. I'm going right there, and I'm casting it. I was also <laughs> going to say, if you're casting a spell in a threatened square, you provoke an attack of opportunity. Well, no, I'm not. I'm here, so I'm not anywhere. I understand here, that. I'm just oh, saying okay. if you were in, if you stay oh, in the I room. Had there. Okay, I got it. Even when it's on yourself? Doesn't matter. As soon as you okay. fo oh, change no, your I'm focus to, from... I'm just trying to clarify. Yeah. Okay. All right. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take my chance. I'm going to roll the D8. Oh, sorry. 2D4. Sorry. Uh, 2D4. There you go. See, there you go. I got seven anyway. Perfect. Yeah, you got enough to heal yourself to base, so it doesn't really matter. Faith doesn't give you more than max, does it? No, it just gives you max. It just would have meant you got okay. ten instead of uh, seven. Okay. Not relevant in this situation, because you only have nine hit points and you only had seven wounds. Well, that's why I was asking, because... 
Okay. Whereas Fox would probably appreciate it if you cast Faith on him because he needs nine hit points. And if well, Lor- Lorian ever gets attacked. He's already outside the room. True, but he's just sitting in the hallway doing nothing because he's so horribly wounded. Well, you could cast a Cure Minor on him. I can't cast two spells in a round, right? Yeah, you can. You, uh, oh. Your minor spells, your zero level spells, are swift actions. How many of them can I cast in a round? Just one? You Technically, you can cast three swift, swift spells in a round. You can use your standard action, your move action, and your swift action, all to cast a zero level spell if you were so inclined. But you've already used your swift action, and you've already used your standard action. You only have your move left, so you can only do one in this okay, case. Okay, so I can do one. All right. So I'll do... Um... Well, you said faith guarantees him three hit points, right? Uh, it would oh, be four. It's D3 plus one. Right, and minor faith. So what? What? why would you ever use um, cure minor wounds over minor faith healing? Why would you use it? Uh, because yeah. you have people in your party who aren't your faith, and faith healing does nothing to them. Oh, faith so healing only affects to... people of your faith. So is the thief my faith? Yes, Fox and Lorien in this case are your faith, but Mark isn't. Mark okay. uh, follows Septimus, the god of strength. Oh, Mark's the guy who's watching us? No, Mark is the uh, monk from the uh, Discord that didn't join us this week. Oh, okay. All He's right. the guy so who said I, he might uh... show up an hour late. All right, so if I cast faith, he gets four hit points. I mean, minor faith. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'll do that. Fox, you get back four hit points, and then we're on to Apple. Apple is going... By the way, um, real quick. If this guy moves away from the square that he's currently in, would that provoke an attack of opportunity? Because he's, like, in five feet of me right now. Uh, anyone who five foot's out of your threatened square? No. Um, but the guy who's around the corner can do anything he wants because you can't attack him at all. And he can't attack you. I see. Okay. Um, Apple is going to attack this guy right down here. A cleric, a rogue, and a uh... ranger. Actually, no. Apple's just going to go for the guy who's already injured. There's two. One has three, one has eight. Well, one of them's dead. Oh, one died? Who killed him? Apple. Oh, Apple gets two attacks? No, he no, got Apple one attack. Once. Oh, he rolled a 23 and did seven points. Okay. Okay, then we're on to Fox. Um, Wait, it's still my turn. No, we're skipping you. Oh, wait, no. Fox my my initiative is two. I'm not done. Yeah, Fox is before you. I forgot. I'm still used to just going at the same time as that. Can I try to fire my short bow through the uh, doorway at one of the bombers? Yep. It's the one with eight hit points. The only one he can target is the one on the south side. It's the only one he has line of sight to because he's in the square you used to be in. Oh, right. So, so, so I... When it's my turn, I can hit the one who's 20 and the one who's 8? If you can see them, yeah. So if I can see any part of them in the light, I can shoot at them. If you can see more than half of the token, you can shoot at them. If you can see ha- less than half of the token, like the one to the north, then you suffer the cover penalty of okay, minus so 4. Can, all right, so I can shoot the one that has 8. All right, so I- Okay, Fox, go. All right, so what do I roll with then to see if I hit it or not? Uh, you roll a d20 plus your modifier, which in this case I think is just your dex. So d20 plus three. And that would be a miss. I think the AC is 17. Because these things are super tough. You doing anything else? Actually, you got to run over and pick up your bow. 
Remember you dropped it in the first round to draw your rapier? Sorry, I app crashed there. What did you say? You have to run over and pick up your bow. You dropped it in the first round to draw your rapier? Okay, I'll go ahead and move there then. And then, Lorian, it's your go. Um, double checking real quick. I can use zero level spells as a swift action. Yep. I'm going to use Cure Minor Wounds on Apple. Okay. I forgot what I'm rolling for this. I think it was like a 1d3 plus 2. Yep, d3 plus 2. You go, girl. Um, I'm going to rapid shot the bombardier that's below us. Okay. Oof, that second one doesn't hit. Sucks when they're not goblins. Yeah, it's a shame. I haven't seen them since, like, <laughs> the second game we played. Yeah, well, if I make every encounter about goblins, then you're ridiculous bonuses are out of control. <laughs> That's Mi my turn. Mr. I'm whining about being plus 11. <laughs> okay, uh, then we're back to initiative. There you go, whiners to 12. You should be able to beat that. Wow, two natural 20s for initiatives. I love that Fox, oh. even though he has a decent uh, initiative, can't roll double digits. Sorry, I rolled the wrong thing. Let me just, that should be crap. Wait, Fox's initiative is minus four? Yeah, when he uses his long, or his short bow. Oh, oh, right, I forgot. Yeah, that's, mine's like minus three, even though I have such a good weapon. <laughs> Alright, mine's wrong. I it was like minus try. eight when I first started. I've also so, angered the RNG gods, so it's been a Okay, so my dire rat is twenty four is twenty four, I'm nine. Okay. So if I go here. Did you delete your diorat? I thought it was on the list. No, he's up here. Remember, I moved him up so he was flanking between him and him. No, I meant the uh, the token on the initiative chart. Oh, no, it was never there. You just... Oh, it is there now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just yeah, added I it. I thought you added it. I, didn't... Uh, I must have no, just mistaked it for something else. I didn't add it. Mistook okay. it. So I go there and flank. So. Wait, Apple would go first, doesn't she? No, no the Oh, Apple didn't put it in the right initiative. Somebody forgot to add their plus five. Am I supposed to change that myself? Uh yeah. My bad. I didn't even realize I could just manually change my initiative. Don't worry, Lorraine's only played like eight or ten sessions. <laughs> oh, this is this is so different from whatever winner might give up. Okay, Apple's gonna just attack the bombardier right in front of. That does not hit. <laughs> All right, that's his turn. Okay, All right. then it's a dire rat. Right. Rat right, goes down here and is attacking this one. So I roll it. So it's not. 
plus four, so he's flanking plus six, right? Correct. Almost. A, so if you roll a 20 on a hit, is it, what did you say it was? It's double damage? Or when you roll a 20 a on a hit, critical? it's a critical, and you do maximum damage with that, and then you re-roll to confirm. If you confirm, you do additional damage. Okay, three. Okay, just note that on the token. Uh, then we're on DeLorean. I'm going to rapid shot the bottom one again. Somebody attacked my magical rat. It's worthless. Somebody attack it. The rat is relatively non-threatening since it does almost no damage and rarely hits. Well, it does as much damage and as... And then... I can still five foot step, right? Yeah, if you want. I'm gonna do that. You didn't cast a spell this round, did you? No, I did not. Okay. How long does your spell last for? One minute per cast a level. Okay. Plenty of time. Yeah. Oh, it's not even cast a level. It's just one minute per level. Yeah, but the level is your caster level. Okay, so then we're on to the beetles. So the beetle will attack you, Lorian. And when I say attack you, he sprays you. Roll your fortitude save. Oh, jeez. Okay. That passes. Yeah, that easily passes. And then the one to the north will also spray the two of you. So you can roll save for each of you. Nice. Everyone saves. Nothing happens. Uh, then we're on to mugs. Okay, so he's he's now blocked me, so I can't. I was going to run in and, and mace him. I can't do that anymore, right? Because he's in that square. Uh, you can do it, but you'd provoke an attack of opportunity when you go through Lorien Square, because that's a threatened square for the center beetle. Center beetle. Oh, and you you said I could fire at this guy with my sling, right? Yeah, you can fire at him with your sling, but you're minus okay, four for so, firing into combat. Oh, so it's Lorian, and I can't see this guy, right? Okay, so... Can you see him? Um, all right, so you said minus... All right, um, second. All right, so you said I, could, I can do three different things, a swift action... Swift action, a move action, and a uh, standard action. Okay, so you could action. use your swift I'll action to another, move another faith healing on this guy. A lesser one? Yeah. Okay. So we can have another four hit points. So faith minor faith healing isn't wasn't uh oh, it was Kieran, right? Okay, so I'll do another one of those. So I've used up both of those. And so Fox, you get I back go... four more hit points. It's almost and shiny and new. So you said it's minus four. So even if I move in the room to like this square here, it's still going to count as firing into melee, right? Yeah, all of both of the enemies are attacking Apple. So Apple is effectively granting them cover. All right, then I go in here as my standard action. And. I will use my cure moderate runes on Apple. Wait, you should probably save that spell. Apple really doesn't it's need it. It's only one to three. I don't care. All right. He means cure minor. Minor, sorry. I'm used to moderate. Yeah, moderate's a second level spell. You don't get that until you're a third level cleric. 
I don't know. I'm used to calling it Cure Serious Me. All right. Yeah, so I thought yeah. he was about to heal like 2D4 or something. All right. So, yeah, no, I'm not. I don't have second level spell. All right. So that one is just uh, what? How do you do 1D3? Roll 1D6 and. You uh, type in slash R space oh, right. D3. Oh, right. I keep forgetting. You can type Plus it in. one. Yeah. Okay. So it's just slash roll. Yeah, slash roll, space, so, D3, yep. plus one. I keep forgetting you can type I can help you make types. macros later. Oh, no, I remember how to do it. It's not that. It's just I am... Um, plus, I know you hate when I type because you, apparently I'm killing the keyboard. If you guys ever need help with macros, you can always just put it in the noob channel. Look at that. Max healing. You go. Apple appreciates it. Hey. Something else I can do. You're blocking everything. I can't hit him without. I'd have to roll a natural twenty to hit these things, right? With a mic. Right? Yes. Yeah. It would be very hard for you to hit. Yeah. Maybe if you're nice, uh, Lorian will move up, and you can move into combat next round. That's all right. I think we got this. This is not as bad as I was thinking was going to happen. If they stop spitting. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, Fox, you're up. All right, we're going to try another shot of the short bow. So he's getting minus four or because he's... Yeah, he's uh, minus four firing into combat. He's minus four too? Okay. You say he was minus four for the modifier on that? Yes. So your total will be minus one. Is three and a half, do you get two arrow shots like in first and second, or you just get one? You, it depends on uh, the situation. Most of the time you only get one. You have to stop rolling threes, Fox. <laughs> That's like the third three you've rolled. That happened to me in my first session also. I died. Didn't you die in I, both of the first two the first rolls. Didn't you die Did the you first two times? Card? I died the first two sessions, yeah. I tried a second time and died again. <laughs> what were you the first two sessions? What class were you? It was exactly the same character. Still, still Ranger. <laughs> oh, you I just, like, I couldn't roll higher than a 7 for some reason. And he needed an 8 to hit. What was, what was he getting killed? What, just that first room with the troll or something? No, he was doing the goblin adventure and uh, he oh. just sucked he was actually plus two to fighting goblins and still sucked <laughs> there's a bit of there's a bit of a learning curve to rolling dice so we're on to the let, next me, round. let me tell you about that learning curve to rolling Akhtar had the worst dice ever no he was nothing compared to Lorian. <laughs> Rockthar survived to sixth level. Lorian died at first level and then died again at second level. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, and then we barely survived the third time. We ran away from the light. <laughs> yeah, he he did the goblin tomb three times and almost died three times. Died two times, almost died the third. He was an initiative roll away from dying the third time. I oh, believe they went right. into the tomb area in the dark. So they and then decided to root through the sarcophagi. In the dark. Fighting undead in the dark. We're rolling initiative again, right? Yeah, I've already rolled. Yes, no, I saw that. Hey John, I gotta bounce. Um, but um, as far as the chaos game goes, I won't. I wouldn't be able to make one on the twenty eighth, but I would be able to make one on the twenty first. Uh, yeah, I should be able to do it on twenty first. Just the twenty eighth, I'll be. Okay. Well, we'll find out when Paul's available. He hasn't answered yet. Um, no, we'll see. We'll just kill you off if you can't make it. So, that barb is too good. 
that and you never show up for sessions. Okay, Dire Rat's up first, and that would be a hit on the Dire Rat. Oh no, that, I was rolling initiative. Well, that would be a waste of a Dire Rat initiative then. Well, how was it? Was I rolling? Okay, was I supposed to roll it separately? You can do it however you want. But when you uh, roll your initiative, you should click on the token so that it goes uh, into the tracker. Oh, yeah. See, I got minus four. See, I'm at the very bottom. You can't. I, no, I, I, I see that you rolled initiative. What's the 16 for? Oh, I was just rolling a 16 for... I wasn't sure if you wanted me to roll the rat separate or not. That's what I'm saying. Is when, when, you, when you roll initiative for the rat, click on the rat's token, then roll initiative. And it'll put it that's in as what a I did, and it, But that's what I did, and it, it gave me... But you'd roll the d20 instead of rolling the initiative macro. No, I, I did. I did copy and paste, and then I, cl I clicked the die arrest, and then I pressed enter, and it still said that that I rolled. Oh, Ooh, maybe I did. All right. Okay. Because right. the... No, the, I see what you're saying. Yeah, because okay, you're not again. doing the... That's just a straight D20. I don't know how that happened, but you did something wrong yeah, there. Yeah, because I, I clicked it. I can, can you see that I clicked it? No, I can't see that you clicked it, but I can tell the difference okay. on my side. The initiative macro oh, no, comes up as saying. a yellow square, and the D20 just comes up as a D20. Oh, no, I know what I did wrong. No, I know what I did. Sorry. All right. Make sure you don't put plus in Nothing. there. Oh. If you put in yeah. a, another plus, you confuse the computer. It thinks it's script and it doesn't understand it. Okay, so you can only put in negatives. Yeah, you only put it. You put in seven or negative one. Don't put in plus seven. There you go. Okay. So dire rats up first. I just rolled two sixteens for my rat. <laughs> and neither of them are gonna count. Alright. Well I can't kill it anyway, so I attack this one again. Because it's flanked. So I just roll plus six Another sixteen. Slayer of Beetles. <laughs> There you go, only three more rounds and it'll be dead. Uh, then we are on to the Beetles. Uh, Beetle to the west will attack Lorien. Missing horribly. Beetle to the north attacks Apple, scoring a mighty hit. For max damage. An apple goes down. Why is it if I if I had picked the fire beetle, would they have been more likely to attack it? Uh that's a good question. There might be a case for beetle territorialness. Same size, right? Because bombardier beetles, I mean they're all beetles. They're not really any different in size unless it's a no, they're the okay. same size. In this situation, I don't think it would have made any difference because you're invading their hive, so they would interpret everybody okay. as being an aggressor. If you found them in the wild, okay. like you're just in the forest and they you happen upon them, they might attack the beetle first because it'd be more territorial. Okay. Kind of like two dogs fighting instead of attacking the people. Right. Okay, Apple, you're up. Five foot step and attacking. You can't five foot through there. Oh, he cannot? No, you'll provoke an attack of opportunity. You can't go between a diagonal like that. Okay, he will attack this bombarder first. Well, that's my rats, leave it alone. That just makes it because of the flying. Whatever. Yeah, the most valuable thing the rat's doing is flanking stuff. <laughs> and then um, afterwards, 
Now, can, ap can Apple make the same five foot step I tried to make before because it's not moving in between two enemies? No, because to go through, to go to this square here, you have to basically cut through this square, which is threatened. But it's no longer threatened because... This the one, the north one, threatened. still threatens all the squares around it. I see. Okay, so Apple's just going to move there. Okay. And then Lorian, you're up. Rapid shouting. And that's that wow! Just, <laughs> just <hit>. smoked it. <laughs> One turn. Well, one encounter only took us. An hour and a half. That's not too bad. <laughs> At this rate, we'll probably get two encounters done. Mark Jonas had like had trouble fighting three of these things. Uh yeah, because they were in a corridor. So when they breathed, it breathed on all of them. Oh, I mean. Hmm. And they got breathed on, then they got breathed on, then they got breathed on. <laughs> you I guys you good. guys had the perfect situation because there was no real way for more than one person to get breathed on. Like, Apple got breathed on twice and the cleric got breathed on twice, but most of you just got it once. Well, that's because we left the room. But they were all in the hallway together, so one breath weapon down the hall got all three of them. Oh, you mean a different fight? All right, I thought you were talking. About yeah, when uh, Jonas and them were doing it, the dead one in the hall Fontaine. was from that fight. Fontaine was casting. I can only use cure minor wounds or cure light wounds or fake healing. That well, if you well, still, just... what are you spontaneously casting? Oh no! I'm just asking. I'm not using it now. I'm just saying. Like, you, so you, can trade, if wanna, if you, you can trade. You can trade a first level more. spell for two d eight or two d four, and you can trade a zero level spell for d three. Right. So the the cure light, the cure minor wounds one or cure light wounds, you can't trade it for for um, minor faith healing or faith healing. Uh, not officially, no. Okay, so you're trading it for the cure spells, not for the faith healing spells. Yes. Okay. No, that's fine. I just in it, yeah, because it's one d three or one. In. Okay. Does someone want to open this door and I'll ready another arrow? What door? Where where are we seeing a door? Over here. Is there no point in searching the beetles or anything? Oh, should we, should we these things almost. This? Should we not search this room before we leave it? We can, but my spell only has about like three minutes left of duration. So I kind of want to just like really quickly go through another encounter before it'll run out. Okay, I, 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 okay, I close the door and then go.